Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon and what I have here is the most compact flush and seamless selector with the button on the input. The output. So as you can see, press the button and as with any selector, that gets selected. You press another input, the last input gets reset and your new one pops up. Just like so. Now it expand up to 15 blocks long, so it could be used for things like a train station and have up to 15 destinations on it. And yeah, so I'll crack away the outside and show you how it works. So, here is all the redstone, it's only 6 blocks long and 3 blocks tall which gives it a volume of 18 blocks in total for each layer. And they can just be easily tiled next to each other like this. Now this is quite an expensive design but that, as often you have to do, is the consequence of having such a compact design. So, the way this works is kind of strange, as you can see it's got pistons up here, down here, droppers, hoppers and repeaters and stuff like that. And I don't quite fully understand how it works, I just, I knew something would work and make a selector if I kept putting these blocks together in the right way, and eventually I got there. So, see, press the button, this is going to come out, and power this, which shouldn't do anything because there's nothing in it, and then two ticks later, this is going to get powered by the redstone on this line, so all of them are going to get powered, it's going to push the items forward, but then this one's going to drop back, but then this um, piston hit will have updated that, and it will make sure the item comes back out of this dropper, if that makes any sense to you. It probably didn't, but I don't quite fully understand how it works either. Anyway, that's basically how it works. And this line at the back here, which the piston used to reset, we can do that as a manual reset if you want to remove the piston you made, just like so. Now, the way we get the signal to the lamps is we get take the signal from the droppers here, and whichever one's selected will have an item missing. So if I just select this one, see the item goes, which turns this comparator off and turns this lamp off. Now, the output is inverted to that which is the pop way round, so only the one which is selected is lit up. Now there is a little problem with this, if I put a button here, put a piston here, you can see. The outputs jump like that when you press them. Now the way to solve that problem is just put a 4 tick repeater like this going into whatever you want, and that means if I do this now, it won't jump about which is probably what you want. So, for the tutorial, if you're on your computer, click the orientation on screen right now, or if you're on mobile, there'll be a link in the description. So, thank you for watching, and this has been TT Lemon.